Hey guys, so if you're watching this, then you have seen the short video where I um, have shared this probably first. Um, if you haven't, um, this is my um, piece of work that I'm going to do for the first month to start, start our journals off for 2017. The first prompt is a new step forward. The details with the prompt and everything should be listed in the post, post that you're watching this video on. And um, it's sort of a post that connotates visions of creating a resolution list or a vision board or something along those lines. What do you want to do with your year? Where do you want to go with your year? And what would you like to accomplish in the year? For me, a resolution list, well, you know, resolutions, I never keep them up. I, you know, it just seems like failure to me. Resolution equals failure um, because I never accomplish them all. Um, and a vision board, I just have no patience for cutting out a bunch of different images to paste on a little card or something to tip in my journal. I just, at the moment today that I'm filming this, I just have no patience for that. Um, but I was in the grocery store recently and I saw a little girl character, sketchy character, on a greeting card I thought was really cute. So I thought I would do my version of her and in and around her I've put symbols and words um, to inspire me uh, and remind me of different things that I want to accomplish with my year. And we're going to tip her into the journal. Before we do, I'm going to show you how I drew her. So we're going to set this aside. And I've got a um, ranger tag here. This is a pretty big tag. Um, I think it's a number 10. Let's see really quick. Um, yes, it's a number 10 manila tag. You, of course, can use anything that you want, or you could draw her directly on the page in your journal if you want. I'm going to use a dip pen and some Sumi ink and a water brush to start. Now you of course can use a pencil, you can use um, a regular pen. Think about using a pen that is not waterproof, that's water soluble. And um, as we um, do the drawing, you'll see why, but all this shading on her, the gray shading, that's the pen ink. Um, and if you've seen my videos before, you know I like to do that. Okay, so this is my new little ink jar, isn't it cute? All right, so I'm gonna just dip my pen in here and we're gonna start with the eyes. And I'm gonna zoom in. There we go. So she's pretty sketchy and I'm just gonna do kind of a dot for the eye and then a long exaggerated eyelash. Let me put another eye. We're going to put a little nose, just a little half moon, and then we'll put some lips. And then we're going to put her head in, and I'm going to start her head. Um, in from the end of the eyelashes. We want her eyelashes to be exaggerated. Her head's just really just a ball. And she's supposed to be, you know, exaggerated and sketchy, so we're going to give her kind of a long skinny neck and just a round neckline. Shoulders. I'm going to now come in and do some hair. And in the original sketch, I just gave her kind of a short bob. Now, Sumi ink is not waterproof. It's um, water soluble. Um, even after it's dry, it will reactivate. So I'm gonna come back in here and just make these eyelashes a bit darker. I drew this one's head a lot bigger than the other one. Every time I've drawn her, she's come out a little different, but that's okay. So then I want to give her kind of a long skinny arms. A 
just the hint of a hand. It doesn't have to be, you know, this is just, this is about being loose and sketchy. This is not about um, perfection by any means. Now, because she came out a bit bigger, I'm not going to have room to put her legs. Um, but on the original one, I gave her legs. However your turn, yours turns out, there's no wrong way. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to put some little earlobes in. And I did give her sort of a shopping bag. Put a little line here so the shopping bag looks like it's got some depth to it. Now, before we go any farther, I'm gonna take my water brush and I'm going to use the ink that's on here. Sort of as if it were watercolor paint to add to the interest and the shadows. And like here, up here on the bag, I'm gonna darken the inside of the bag. I'm gonna darken the edges of her dress. It also helps sort of disguise anywhere where you've kind of made a mistake. But she's not about perfection. She's just about expressing yourself in your journal and I want you to have fun with it and not worry about if you've done it perfect or not. I'm going to bring some of the shadows around to the side of her face to give her face some depth. Also on her hair, I'm going to um, darken the upper lip. I'm going to get the ink up there wet. The upper lip is usually always darker than the lower lip. Okay, that's pretty good. And whether you draw her smaller and you get legs in or not, I think it doesn't matter either way. So then I want you to think about what are some things that you want to accomplish this year? So love popped up on mine a couple of times, once in a word and once in a symbol. So I did draw a heart on her dress. Oh, see, there's the ink again. I'm constantly getting myself inky. Okay. And I also want to try to be more um, smart about money and spending next year. I know that's, you know, we're artists, we like to spend money. <laughs> well, it's kind of contraindicated, right? But I gave her dollar sign earrings. Maybe you, for you, maybe you want to give her like paintbrush earrings or, you know, something like that. I also wrote some words in her dress, so um, travel. Create. Grow. Love. Harmony. Peace. I, of course, drew words on her bag. Inspire. Learn. Health. Inside the bag is a YT for YouTube. I gotta work on YouTube. Right? I also did some fun things like I drew a little palette and paintbrush hanging from her bracelet over here. Um, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. 
There we go. So that was kind of fun. So first I just drew a little line. Then I drew sort of an old fashioned palette shape. Put a little hole, thumb hole. Drew some little blobs. Okay, and then I took and I drew a line that I then darkened in. And then a dashy line there. And then I drew sort of a, think of it as a sketchy teardrop. Right? To symbolize um, art, make, make more art next year. That's important, right? So she was pretty cute. She's pretty cute just the way she is. I'm going to zoom back out again. So she's pretty cute just the way she is. I was happy with her, but I thought, hmm, all right, well, let's go a little farther. So I have the Recollections um, watercolor gel crayons, and I really only need two colors, a pink and a yellow. So I got the pink and the yellow. So first, um, I wanted to just add some color to her face, just a little, like, hints of color. So cheek, a little bit to the cheeks and a little bit to the heart. And at first I used the baby wipe, but I found that it's easier and more controlled to use the water brush. At least on, the, on some of the parts. On the cheeks, I did use the baby wipe to get in here. You, just, you get a little bit of a softer look. And then the yellow, to just brighten up the manila paper around her. And you may get parts of the ink wet, and it may smear into the yellow. Um, I was okay with that. I didn't mind the way it turned out. If that bothers you, you might want to um, use a water brush for this. And you may want to use a water brush for parts of it anyway, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so like right here under her arm, if I got in there with the baby wipe, I can guarantee you that um, I would smear the ink around in a way that even I was not okay with. Oops, see, I did it anyway. Now you just have to be, you know, you just, this is not intended to be perfect by any stretch. See, there we go. I just made a big mess. Um, but you have to just live with it, and that's fine. Maybe a word needs to be there. I did it on the other one too a little bit, but I ended up kind of fixing it. And by fixing it, I don't mean I, I got rid of it. I did it right here to her shoulder. I just, um, I you know, put more color over the top of it. In this case, this is a bigger blob. So what I would do is I would probably write something there. So art, that works right there. It's a little bit wet, so it's smearing, but that's fine. I think she's cute anyway. <clears throat> so once she's dry, then she's ready to put in your journal. And we're going to do that next. And what we're going to need is we're going to need some washi tape. So I'm going to set her aside. And we are going to need my journal and some tape. I'm going to use, I think, maybe the cloud tape? Maybe. Ooh, I have this B tape, though. This B tape is cute. Let's try that one. I don't think I've used this one yet. This is a B, um, Bumblebee washi tape. This is a Scotch brand. 
don't remember where I got it from, but isn't it cute? So we're going to tip her in. So the question is, do I want to tip her in the front, which is not my um, in my instinct, is to put her here. And I think that's what we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take her and I'm going to put some washi tape on her card in a way so that I'm not covering up part of her drawing. Okay, so like that, I'm going to put two pieces like that. And then I'm going to take my journal and I'm going to line up the bottom of the tag with the bottom of the page and then the edge of the tag with the edge of the page. And I'm going to wrap the tape around. Cool. Then I'm going to open it up and we're going to put more tape here. And this, this one, you want to... You can put it all the way down if you want, but some of the sticky might show on the other side. So now she's all taped in and ready to go for the new year. Look at her. She is just ready and raring. So there you go. There's one way to do your first prompt of the new year. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the process and are, have fun with it. Um, don't forget over the Christmas holiday and New Year's especially to save some bits and pieces to use in your journal. And we'll be back mid-month um, to work on the January part of our journal with another prompt. Um, that's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.